Ed Sheeran is a global superstar. He's sold millions of albums and his songs have been streamed more than two billion times. Right now, he's on tour with the first artist signed to his own record label. And together, in a major exclusive, they join us live. From two albums in four years, Ed Sheeran has become one of the biggest superstars in the world. His songs consistently top the charts and break records. Thinking out loud, maybe we found love right where we are. But Ed has bigger plans. As well as releasing music and touring the world, he runs his own record label, Gingerbread Man Records. The first artist he signed, British singer Jamie Lawson. You spend the night in my bed, you woke up and you said, well, I wasn't expecting that. And in less than a year, Jamie has become an international star in his own right, with two hit singles, including his latest, Ahead of Myself. Don't want to get ahead of myself, I think that I've just been called. Ed Sheeran and Jamie Lawson join us now from St Paul in Minnesota. Good morning to you, gents. It's great to have you on the show. You right. Hello. Thanks now, for the us. two of you are on tour together in the US. Ed, what do two British lads get up to when they're not on stage? Uh, we, <laughs> he wants to talk to. We, we were in we were in Atlanta the other day, and it's the, the home of strip clubs. And the last time I was in Atlanta, uh, I went out with uh, Taylor Swift dancers, and we went to this gay strip club called uh, Swinging Richards, which was quite fun. So I was trying to take everyone there, but then everyone was telling us about this elderly strip club for pensioners, which um, sounded interesting, but we never ended up there. So we, we ended up Thankfully. at a, yeah, we, we, we ended up at a pizza, pizza parlor as well called Geo's and uh, made pizza. Yeah. Bit different. Yeah. Oh, Th those are extremes <laughs> of what goes on on this tour. <laughs> It definitely is not staying on tour. Ed Sheeran, you are the best interview ever. You ask your question and you just go, bleh. Um, and I love the name of the club, Sweetie Richards, as well. It's fabulous. Uh, well, I think, right, you know what? I, I, I don't feel. I, I, I don't. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, the link, link's weird. Carry on, carry on. Oh, no, uh, Jamie, let's bring it back on track though and get professional. What have you learned from Ed <laughs> since you uh, si signed to his record label? And apart from strip clubs, what have you learned watching his performances live? Oh, he's great to watch, actually. Um, I learn a lot from him. He's always, um, he's, he's really able to engage everyone in the audience. And he, there's 15,000 people there, so uh, it's pretty special to watch, actually. So, but I also just take that whenever Ed goes on stage, he seems to be himself. So whether he's playing to those 15,000 people or to 10 people in a room, it's kind of the same uh, emotion that he puts into it. And uh, that's definitely something I would take with me too, so. Mm. Thanks. Yeah. Um, Jamie's had such huge chart success in Australia, like around the world, but in Australia particularly, concerning us. Um, Ed, how proud are you of him? I'm very, very proud uh, of of Jamie. Mostly just to see see how it all kind of unravels because we've 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 known each other for a very long time, and um, uh, this record label and single coming out was part of a conversation. Uh, uh, oh, shite! So that's my phone. Um, yeah, no, this 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 record label and and single thing came it came from a kind of a drunk drunk conversation that uh, uh, just just ended up being. Uh, Coming to fruition. Sorry, that was, <laughs> that was really weird. Uh, the professional. Yeah. 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 There was the street no, club I'm... calling back for the uh, <laughs> for the appointment. Exactly. No, we were just we, we were just watching this kind of new Spinal Tap video just before you came on, and I, I forgot to switch it off. The cameraman's really angry at me right now. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm, I'm, for, my, for, for me, I'm just I'm just really happy that um, uh, what, what I saw in Jamie, everyone else sees in Jamie. Oh, it started again. Look at that. <laughs> uh, <sorry. laughs> Is that spinal tap going off again? <laughs> it seems like it, yeah. I, see, I feel like I'm actually yeah, in it. The phone's it. locked as well. I don't know, like, it's, it's on silent and everything. <laughs> yeah, all right, magical. Uh, now, Jamie, you performed for us I'll on Sunrise up. twice this year. Um, are you coming back with Ed yeah. for the tour in November? Oh, I wish I was. Uh, I'm not, unfortunately. I'm doing my own tour in throughout Europe. I get to do my own headline tour now. So, 
um, I oh. unfortunately won't be there, which is a shame because it's summer. And I've not been to Australia in summer yet. You don't want to go in summer, it's uh, too hot. Oh. It's too is hot. it? Yeah. For, for us gingers, it's way too hot. Well, that's, yeah. Way too hot. Well, yeah, so, <laughs> so no, unfortunately. But you, you, get a, you do get passenger and foil? Yeah. Uh, no, rudimental, oh, rudimental. rudimental foil. Cool. Yeah. Well, that would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be good. No, rudimental uh, is Ed, fantastic double A. You make me laugh, Ed. Um, so, Ed, you are back in <laughs> Australia in November. Um, your concerts have been called your biggest shows yet. What, what is, what's bigger and better this time round? Well, it's... Uh, it's in a stadium, so it's a bit, it's a bit, bit bigger. Oh, wow. It's a bit bigger. But, uh, oh, well, that's bigger. I, okay. I don't know. It's uh, like, yeah, no, we took, um, basically, I did, I did, did uh, some uh, Wembley Stadium shows in England. So we're taking that big stadium show, and we're doing some stadium shows in the US first, and then we're going to take it to Australia. But the thing with Australia is whenever I've gone to Australia, I've always got ill instantly because I've, I kind of overdid it before I got to Australia. So I've always lost my voice. And this time, I will not be losing my voice. So you get... The full show, yay! Yeah. Uh, That's called maturity, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it, no, it's just called not not caning it in Southeast Asia just before you come to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's called having two months off before you come to Australia. <laughs> hey, can we catch up with you when you're back out in Australia in November? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Of course, of course. Um, I, I, I always like catching yeah. up with you guys. You guys, are, you guys are fun. I like, I like doing Australian interviews because I can say things like this. In, if I was doing an American interview right now, I would have been cut off by now. So you, you, have, you have to be more really? politically correct. Right? I'm just getting nod like we, yes, <laughs> yes, you would. Well, I can't imagine what you could possibly say that would make us cut you off. We actually really enjoy your stories. Is it? I can think of a few things. I can think of a few things that I, I could say. Yeah. What, why don't we test it? No, I'm only really joking. Well, no, have, you seen, have you seen those, those, um, have you seen those videos of those news reports um, of people jumping in in the background and saying like a certain phrase? Like I've always been tempted to say, he, he knows, oh, Sang I know. Yes. But when uh, it's, it's, it's uh, you know exactly what I mean. But yeah, uh, it, yes, it's, yes, um, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I've always been tempted to say that on live TV. But I, 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 okay, I, well, I no, maybe we would cut you off for that. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, have you got a bucket list thing that you want to do in Australia when you're out here touring? Something you've always wanted to do? Uh, I've always wanted to scuba dive, but I, 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 I don't, I have a, well, I've actually just burst it again. I have a, like, perforated eardrum on this side, which means I can't have too much pressure on it. So I've always wanted to scuba dive in the, in the barrier reef, but I, I, alas, I can't. Huh? So, um... But I'd like to go back to the Barrier Reef and go on one of those boats with like a glass bottom and, and have a look. That'd be yeah. cool. Oh, that's easily arranged. We'll yeah. talk to our mates at Hamilton Island. Yeah, yeah they'll fix that they'll up. Go on. They'll take Do you a bit of snorkeling. Take care of you. All no, right. All right. Well, look, it's fabulous to talk to you both. Jamie and Ed, thank you for, for taking the time out. Well, you're just down the road in Minnesota. We're up here in New York City, so we do appreciate it. Um, it's rare that we're on the same continent. Yeah, they're killing but, you with um, these flights, aren't you. they? Yeah, they yeah. are, Ed. You're right. Well, we, yeah. Thank we you very much. Talk to you today. We nearly didn't see you today. Um, but we'll see you in November, Ed. And Jamie, all the best. Thanks for, for your time today. And have fun on tour, you two. Good Thank you so much.